Hi booktube, this is Kelly. Thank you so much for watching my channel, Books I'm Not Reading. It is Friday night that I am filming this and um, I'm gonna be filming throughout the weekend. So hopefully um, this will be a very festive and cozy and relaxing vlog to watch. Um, so Jason is leaving to see his family tomorrow. I am the head cat sitter. It's a very, very important responsibility because our cat requires medication um, two times a day, two different medications. So hopefully that will go well. I already tried filming him once and he was not cooperative, but um, I am drinking my African Solstice Herbal Tea from my tea advent calendar, and it is wonderful. I'm really, really enjoying it. Um, and I'll open up the advent calendar um, over the next couple days so you guys can see uh, what 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 else I get. Um, but yeah, I'm in a little room in our house that I, I don't film in very often. It's pretty minimalist from my house. But I did want to bring a little Christmas cheer to it. So I put an old, very old tablecloth. Um, this was the tablecloth on my parent, at, um, at my par parents' house growing up. Um, and I've got a little Santa and a lo another little decoration back there that Jason doesn't like, but I'll show you Santa. And I wasn't sure what it would look like if I turned him on on camera. I don't usually have him on because I try, as someone with epilepsy, I try to avoid um, anything strobing, but he is very cute. I also have my Christmas to color book down here, so I may use this this weekend, we'll see. Um, and I will talk about my reading plans tomorrow. Tonight, I'm going to go upstairs and watch The Grinch, uh, Who's Still Christmas, and Prep and Landing. Just the first one. I like the first one the best. Um, if you have never seen Prep and Landing, um, it's a, a cute animated short, it's quite short, um, little film, and I, I just find it just a, adorable. It's great. So we're going to watch those together by the Christmas tree. And, um, anyway, so I will be back tomorrow. Good morning, booktube. It is Saturday, Saturday morning, and I am in the house with the cat all alone. First things first, I thought we would open up um, together today's tea for the advent calendar. I have had a cup of coffee, pretty big cup of coffee actually, this morning already, but I think a cup of tea would be nice while I'm reading, which we'll talk about here shortly. Oh, ooh, this is an exciting one. If I can just get it out of the box. Packaging. Oh, it's really getting challenging. Okay, so this is winter chai. And let's see. Um, it says exotic cardamom meets swiftly fragrant fragrant vanilla. Oh, and it's herbal tea too. So I think I have two herbal teas, and then I have three three black teas. So I'll probably have one of the black teas this morning and then uh, tonight I'll have one, this one or the other one that I have. So very good. Okay. Um, plans for today. I'm thinking about watching the Nutcracker tonight, depending on how I do <laughs> in dun, dun, dun. Demon Copperhead. Okay. So here's the skinny. Demon Copperhead, I have about 370 pages left to read. So I'm obviously not going to finish it this weekend. I just want to feel like I took advantage 
of the fact that I was home by myself and and I just want to feel good on Sunday night that I really read as much as I could in this book and it's it's not about reading it fast. Um, I'm not a terribly fast reader anyway. Um, I also am in charge of a little fur person. <laughs> I will try to get footage of Blue. He is just a little bit camera shy and I think right now he's just like depressed that <laughs> Jason is is gone um so he's in our bedroom right um, now i also want to talk to you later about snacks because i know bookish snacks are very important to some of you um so i do have some good snack food to eat this weekend um and of course there's always uh more baking shows to watch and like I said, yeah, maybe a Christmas movie tonight. Maybe the Nutcracker. More footage coming later. I'm going to go make a cup of tea. All right, so um, right after I finished making my um, English breakfast tea, uh, my little fur person who's out here uh, got sick on the bed. So that was, that was great. Um, anyway, so he is here. Aww. I love him very much but he can be a handful and for some reason he does not like cameras. But I wanted to talk about snacks because I know some of you snacks on like a library cart or something like that is a very big deal. So I don't want you to think that I am without snacks this weekend. I have chips, I have dip, I have oranges. It's good. I actually forgot I have um, Indian leftovers to have for lunch today. So that'll be really good. Um, but we've got these, um, honey mustard and onion pretzel pieces. These are really good. I have to use just a little tiny container <laughs> when I'm eating them as well as these, which are, um, salt and pepper peanuts. Oh my gosh. I, I didn't know that they were in the house until recently and I was just like, oh, that's a little scary. I could eat all of the nuts <laughs> this weekend. I um, I also asked Jason to get me some nog. So um, this is not real eggnog, but it's made from almond milk. It still has, it still has a nice flavor to it. So um, I've tried putting it in my coffee a couple times, but it doesn't, the flavors don't quite stand up to the coffee. Like it's hard to taste it in there. And then <sighs> one day this week, I got a present from uh, someone I work with. Um, I love this bag. It says Christmas calories don't count. <laughs> Oh, if only that were true. But anyway, I had to sit in my office all day long and she gave, well, I guess it's for, for Jason and myself, but like these little Godiva chocolates and then, um, yeah, like Lindor truffles. So I'm having to hide these from myself. Um, so that I don't get, I don't get carried away. It's probably true with all of this stuff. 
Um, yeah. So anyway, it's I I've made a little bit of progress in Demon Copperhead. Oh, here I'll show you the kitty. See, I am really taking care of a cat. Yes, yes, you're real. Hello again! It's about 7 o'clock on Saturday night. I'm by the tree. I love filming by the tree. Um, over lunch, I watched an episode of the Gingerbread. It was last year's gingerbread holiday baking champion or whatever and the theme of this episode was the nutcracker which i've been listening to the music to um for quite a while and wanted to watch a production of it which it's a little difficult uh to get jason to do so um yeah that ended up being what i watched this evening um i watched the uh slovak national ballet company um it was from 2009 anyway i'll i'll come back to that uh so this afternoon though i did i did do a little reading i took a nap with the cat who is again completely absent from this video i exercised and then i watched the nutcracker and the thing the the reason why I love the Nutcracker, and I have one of my Nutcracker ornaments that was right here. This is Clara holding the Nutcracker, and then there's a Nutcracker behind me. But the thing I love about the Nutcracker is like you can take so many different spins with it. There's so many different versions of it, still using the same music, but you can you can really, um, you can always change the time and the place. I've watched a lot of different versions of the Nutcracker and the thing is the Nutcracker is really a ballet about showing off. And so you cast people in parts that play to their strengths that um, there's one, um, one dance that Jason does love because it's often it's often pretty sexy. It's kind of an Arabian sort of theme, like Scheherazade. I've seen it done where uh, the dancer was portraying a peacock, which was interesting um, and, and beautiful. Um, but this one, uh, I, I mean, and, and it's, a, it's typically a dancer who's very, extremely flexible. So they always do the splits. They're bringing their foot up to their head and that kind of stuff um yeah but and and this the woman who portrayed this character in the ballet I mean she clearly was very flexible um but she was so skinny like disturbingly skinny uh and I felt so bad for her at one point the cameras like show the flowers that are like sitting along the edge of the stage, which I was like, I, I'm not watching this to watch dancers sit. They, they, they just did some really weird things. Like there were moments like where you just saw the stage and there's music playing and absolutely nobody on it. Um, there were moments where they showed you um, people backstage like putting makeup on and fixing their costume and stuff and I and I don't know like maybe it was made for like public television in in Slovakia like I I don't know I don't know and again it was 2009 um but yeah so anyway there were a couple dancers there was one where I was like, finally I was like yes yes show off <laughs> Do your work your magic, you know, um, but it was really quite edited. It's only the the version I saw was only like an hour and five minutes. So the Nutcracker is just wonderful, though. Um, I love the music. And like I said, there's just I can I can never see enough versions of oh. it. Reading. <laughs> 
I did read more of uh, Demon Copperhead uh, this afternoon, but just a tiny bit. So I've only read about 50 pages today, which, you know, but it's only seven o'clock. So I will, I will get some more reading done before the evening is up. But I have just enjoyed the solitude that I've had today so much. It's been really, really good for the introvert in me, if you will. Um, so yeah, I will talk to Jason on the phone tonight, but otherwise, I've only talked to you <laughs> today, so, and I love that. I love the idea of, oh, like, we can, you know, we can stop and, and chat with, chat with people on booktube. So, um, I am drinking my winter chai tea that was in my advent calendar today. It's so good. Um, I might go and grab a biscotti, um, to add to that. Um, and then read some more of Demon Copperhead. So I will be back tomorrow morning with my advent calendar and yeah, hopefully, hopefully a reading update. So anyway, sweet dreams. morning book two I'm starting filming a little later than i was hoping to but that's okay i've had some coffee and i'm also drinking uh black current from my tea advent calendar i guess it's one of their more popular um flavors of tea that they sell on a regular basis obviously i'm assuming some of the teas in the advent calendar they only do for the holidays or whatever um and rather than you watching me wrestle with the um, advent calendar today's tea is green mango peach and which i think sounds lovely and the bottom it says the sweetness of ripe fruit sharpened by peppermint and ginger so i'm gonna have to have that one this week um i also this morning i a cat and I, the cat and I had a rough, a rough night. <laughs> so the cat is once again in bed. I did read 10 more pages in Demon Copperhead this morning. So I can now officially say to you that I've read a hundred pages in this book this weekend, which I feel great about. Um, and I'm also past the halfway mark. And I know I haven't really told you what I think about the book, um, mainly because I'm trying to save those thoughts for a review video. Um, I'm enjoying the book, I, I guess, um, you know, the kind of coming of age stories I, I tend to I tend to really like. Uh, I, I question whether Barbara King Solver should have based it on Demon, or should have based Demon Copperhead on David Copperfield. I think she could have told this story, you know, without that. Um, but anyway, so I, I, I genuinely found myself enjoying, uh, reading about the, the main character and what was going on in his life at that, at that, at the point I'm at in the book. So whether I'll be able to read another hundred pages today remains to be seen. I do have um, a few things that I really need to do to get ready for tomorrow um, and um, just uh, some other chores, things to take care of before Jason gets home cleaning up my own mess. Um, we also got some bird food uh, finally in the mail yesterday and so uh, I might I might have to go out and fill up the bird feeders because 
I know if I if I don't do it, Jason's not gonna do it. So I'm gonna read a little bit and uh, drink my black currant tea, um, and then yeah, we'll see where the day the day goes from there. But I feel like it's been I feel like it's been a really good weekend so far. <laughs> booktube it's about seven o'clock on sunday evening this afternoon i finished watching the gingerbread series baking show that i've been watching um so i watched two episodes of that and then i took a nap and got up a little bit later than i wanted to um i exercised um and then after that i started feeling kind of crummy so I think I'm going to sign off here. Um, I'm drinking, uh, I've got some herbal tea. I'm drinking apricot amaretto. That's from my advent calendar. I'm very excited about that. And of course, I did not get anywhere near as much as I wanted to read in Deep and Copperhead uh, this afternoon. But like I said, it's seven o'clock. So um, once I finish this up, I will probably, um, yes, make a nest for myself in bed. Um, but I hope you've enjoyed this vlog. I hope it's been fun for you. Um, let me know what you think down in the comment section. I, I know I don't have a terribly exciting life of beautiful, spectacular things to share, um, but it's been great to have you as company. So I'd love to hear from you from you down in the comment section. Um, and if you don't feel comfortable leaving a comment, you can always leave an emoji or give this video a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more of my holiday decorations, you can check out my Ko-fi page. Um, if you've missed that video, there is a, a free video on there. You don't have to leave any tip at all um, to see the bonus footage under posts. So I hope you'll check that out. But again, thanks for sharing uh, my, my weekend of solitude. And I'm sorry there wasn't more footage of the cat, but he just really has not left the bedroom very much today. <laughs> so, all right, you guys booktube remember to be kind to yourself be kind to others and i will have an update for you on friday about demon copperhead so i'll talk to you soon bye